the Kokoda government station in New Guinea at the foot of the Owen Stanley Ranges. Today, representatives of various government bodies and other organisations have gathered together to pay a tribute to the work done by Papuan carriers during the Kokoda Trail campaign of the Second World War. The administrator of the territory, Brigadier Cleland, recalls the day in 1942 when the Australians, after months of bitter fighting against the Japanese, won back Kokoda from the enemy in the first and most vital victory of the New Guinea campaign. Among those listening to a translation of the administrator's speech are many of the carriers who took part in the campaign. Watching the unveiling by Brigadier Cleland are the architect, Mr. Raymond Ewers, one of the original carriers, and Mr. H.D. Keenzel, who fought in the campaign and who financed the erection of the memorial. And on the memorial itself, the familiar figures of the men who became known to all Australians. These were the men who unhesitatingly came to the aid of our soldiers as they drove the Japanese north back across the Owen Stanley Ranges. From all over Papua, they came on their mission of mercy. And some of them died alongside those they had come to help. Appropriately, it is their own countrymen who pay the traditional homage to the fallen. When, at the end of the Kokoda Trail, the Australian flag was raised at this site, Major General Vasey, General Officer commanding the Australian forces, said, without the help of these carriers, we would not have been able to cross the Owen Stanleys. A monument in grateful memory of a valued Australian ally. <laughs>